Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Mackham's Down South. I am as always joined by my good friend and Southern Mackham. Matthew Lead, how are you doing today? So let's go in up, we're going up, we're going up, we're going. So let's go in up. Uh um I'm good after the um who the, f- who the hell did we play? Um Shrewsbury Town. Sh- just like Sheffield United. <laughs> Shrewsbury Town is a great win against Sheffield United. A uh, great win against Shrewsbury Town, wasn't it? Um, yeah, just, I was doing great. I, I apologise to everyone who's watched the uh, live stream. I did get a little bit angry about a few different things, but I do apologise. It was just, you know, I just woke up and I wasn't in the greatest of moods. Um, but but I am now. I am now, and I'm very pleased to be talking to you. Oh, as am I. And I guess we just get we get straight into it. And um, what was your what was your overall thought of, thoughts of the game? Uh, I I'll be honest. First half, I thought we were very well. We 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 were very well. We were very well done. We were very well. We did very well. Um, I, I feel like the um, no, the the first the first half we we did play well. Um, the, the start of the game, I think the, the goal. Uh, Charlie White it was a great header, a fantastic header. Brilliant it just header. dipped in the air and dipped it down again. Um, and then we had that chance. Obviously, White grounded the keeper. Um, and he How just, did he miss that? I don't know. Well, at least hit the target. Yeah, I think the ball was sort of going away, but he could have just took a touch and then took it back into the box. Only two defenders standing on the goal line, or he could have squared it for Aiden O'Brien, who would have probably put it wide. But, yeah. but still, you know, hindsight is a wonderful thing. Um, but but it, it was okay in the end. I think Jack Diamond, uh, Jack Diamond again. I think he he's a bit more of a, I think he's a bit more of a runner than he is a, a footballer. If he if he became a runner, then uh, it, I think the just thing is is he just never released the ball quick enough. Like it's like there there cross there now, mm. and he sort of held onto it for that second two seconds five seconds too long, and sort of the chance went and the momentum went. Yeah, he's still quite young. He's got a lot to learn, but that that was something that got my nerves a little bit. But all around, I think probably one of the most improved players was Scowan as well. Yeah, well improved from um, what was it? The who who the oh honestly who did we play Plymouth? That's the one. I mean, he was dreadful that day uh, last Tuesday, but uh, no, he was he he played very well today. Uh, I think at least. I don't know if other people disagree yeah, with I agree. me. Yeah, so it, uh, I think he got, he got the game moving quite a bit. Uh, second half and a little bit quiet. And Lee Burge made some sloppy, all through the game, sloppy clearances. He, you know, when the ball was passed back to him, you weren't too sure what he was going to do with it. You're like, you know, is he, what's he going to do with this? Is he going to kick it long or is he going to, yeah. you know, we just weren't too sure. It, he's not very reliable. Um, but apart from that... Look, it's Shrewsbury Town, and I think maybe we should be winning a bit more convincingly. Yes, it is a win. Um, whether we play against better opposition and play like that, maybe it might not be the same outcome. But I mean, yeah, it's, it's still a win. Three points. I'm I'm really happy with it. Don't get me wrong, I'm not. Uh, <clears throat> but um, but yeah, no, no, it was, it was it was a great win. And well, yeah, who who we got? We're playing Ipswich on on Tuesday now. So and Sky as well, isn't it? bit of momentum to into that game you know what do you think yeah I'll echo what you say really um first 30 35 minutes i thought we completely dominated them we had numerous opportunities yeah numerous chances um they looked honestly dreadful i don't know if that was because they were dreadful which i think it might have something to do with it and also because we were just playing really well again i thought yeah scow and he, he was he kept giving away the ball, but then he kept winning it back and winning a free kick. So it was mm. almost like it was a weird one because he did the bad thing, but then he he did the good thing after. And I guess that's that's what counts really in the end of the day. Again, yeah, Burge, like you said, don't know what was going on with him today. He looked completely um completely all over the place, to be honest with you. Uh defence still 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 hanging in there just about. I guess a clean sheet, but I mean their chances, I think if they had a better quality striker. Today they they probably would have maybe scored because I don't think Leon Clark um, was all that to be honest. But yeah, a great a great great cross from McGeady for the for the goal and Wyke again. He just keeps scoring. Eleventh eleventh goal of the season. I want to keep slating him and keep not believing in him because he just keeps scoring. And I mean, 
he's proved me wrong completely. Yeah, that's fair enough. Um, also, as well, you know, like the the the, uh, the defense, um, like uh, McFadden again. I mean, oh. he he was he would trust me. He was right. I'm gonna say he was better than Plymouth, but maybe he wasn't as. He was a bit. He got a bit more lucky today than he did, than he did at Plymouth. There was some yeah. times where he he got a, he got away with it. You know, he he, he just did, wasn't marking his man, and um, you know, he, he he got away with it. I remember what at one point in the game, I think it was either right back or or right winger that got the ball on the right, and and I'm just like, where's McFadden gone? Where is he? And he's, he's just completely, in. completely free. Yeah. Uh, so uh, and also a few times as well. But Fazzi lost the ball really bad and then he just sort of chucked himself on the floor but looking for a foul. Usually they never get given. And the referee referee was weird, you know, because he kept giving like yeah, it was. really weird fouls. And then he he didn't give us a penalty in like the uh, the first half where someone just fell fell into the back of White, although I, I thought he should have been a bit stronger. Um but but yeah, still it's uh it's it's just a, it's a it's another game really, and um yeah, at least we won and hopefully Denver Hume well, actually, he's he's quite far from coming back into the team, isn't he? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not too he's sure. Got, he's got a long way off. I think we miss him. We miss him a lot. I think he's quite an, quite an underrated. But yeah, defensively, he's not he's not the greatest. But I, I'd probably say when him and O'Neill were on those on those on those wings, or when we were playing full backs, like wing backs, they were our two main attacking threats. Definitely getting up and down, and I think Hume really drives it forward and I know his crosses aren't great don't get me wrong but he's always he's always there to get in the right position and cross it and eventually one of them is, is a decent enough ball but it was it was it was great to see a nine back as well you know yeah time, you can't help but smile when you see him back I mean I just he's got to be starting for me I mean getting back well, yeah, in. yeah he only had like five minutes though didn't he like to play mm. um he, he was saying those five minutes he was all right. I mean, he didn't really do anything, you know. Yeah. Uh, he didn't have time to do anything. He got put in the midfield, I think, which is something we've been waiting to see for a, a while. Um, and I think we went. I think we went to a four-three-three and then put O'Brien out, out left uh, yeah. and then whacked down the middle. I, again, I don't really see why Aiden McGeady was taking off again. I'd rather have seen Aiden O'Brien gone off because, in my opinion, right, a- Aiden O'Brien did absolutely nothing like all game like he was he was so quiet uh, I, I I didn't even notice him right I, I genuinely didn't even notice him that the, the whole game uh, what do you think no nah, I just find it I find nah, I wouldn't say I didn't notice him don't go wrong it wasn't his best game but yeah I, I, I didn't think, do anything wrong but he just didn't do anything right <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I would say McGeady definitely played better than him and obviously got that assist I thought McGeady was decent today actually a lot better than yeah. last week or in the week, you know what I mean. But um, yeah, we're, we're still waiting for the old McGeady to come back, really, aren't we? Because the um, yeah, he's... like he's obviously not as great as he was in the in the in the first season. But I mean, he had, hadn't played in like a year, so I, I, I it was a bit frustrating. He was taken off because I'd rather have seen O'Brien gone off and then McGeady put out left because at the end of the day, he was creating a little bit more um, for us. But um, but no, you know it, it's fine. But to see O nine back going back to the original point, yeah, it it, 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 was, it was good, wasn't it? Um, yeah, it's just a shame we're not in the stadium to see it, really, isn't it? Yeah. Well, um, what did you make of the? Uh, I think it was two changes, wasn't it? Obviously, uh, it was the Winchester, Winchester out, and yeah, who else was it? Uh, I know <laughs> Power think. came. Power came back in, didn't he? Yeah. Oh, Sanderson, Sanderson. I now, did, but in the last game, didn't Sanderson come on as a sub for Willis? So really, we actually only really made one. We we only made one change, didn't we? Um, yeah. And and oh, yeah. I was talking, I was talking on the live stream beforehand, and I said the only change I said they were talking about what the team selection should be, and I'm like, well, realistically, uh, the only sort of better play that we have in the squad that we can sort of change. The only place we can change is just Winchester and, and Ledbetter, or just any any midfielder. We're not gonna like you could say, oh, the defenders aren't playing very well. So this well, Ledbetter came back in, didn't he? Ledbetter, Ledbetter came back oh. in, yeah. 
But like, who better like for the defense are you going to bring in? Who better for the strike force are you going to bring in? Like, if something's not working, you're going to change the team. But who actually are you going to bring in? Like, I'm going to say, say for this. So exactly, <laughs> I said for the strikers, I was like, what are you going to do? Put Will Grigg and Danny Graham in the team, right? Like, that's going to work, or you, 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 I don't know. Like, I don't think Sanderson is any better than Willis or Wright. So I think them two. I think Willis and Wright are probably. Thing is, they on paper they are probably the best centre backs in the league. Definitely, Jordan Willis is, mm. and a Bailey Wright on his day as well. He's gone through a little bit of patchy form, but again, I, I thought today, right, he was giving away, f- he gave away a foul. Yeah, oh, I know these fouls, man. They were going nowhere, and honestly, these these fouls, man, they get right on my tits. I tell you, well, well the the foul thing, right, uh, and this is what I think as well is with the balls. I mean, I made this point as well on the stream as well. I said, even when we played MK Dons at home and we lost 2-1, Lyndon Gooch, right, gave away a foul when in our own half when there was no danger. The player was literally going nowhere. Like, it was fine. Like, there was no danger. He gave away a foul. They put the ball in the box from that free kick and scored. You know, from no danger to conceding the goal. And... Uh, yeah, just those silly, silly fouls. Just giving away fouls, getting yellow cards, and like, if you're going to get a yellow card or a red card, like, like make it yeah. worth it. Yeah, like, properly, yeah. Like, like Flanagan getting sent off at Charlton. Like, at least that was worth it because he stopped someone from going through and scoring. You know, um, and like professional fouls, like that. That's when you should get, actually get your yellow cards and red cards. Don't, I don't know. Don't like mess about giving away fouls for no reason whatsoever. I'm not being funny. I say it again. <sighs> Shrewsbury Town, like, you don't have to worry about them. There's a reason why they play for Shrewsbury, you know. Even, um, oh, who was it? Donald Love. How awful was Donald Love today? I mean, thank God. Thank God we let him go. So that, that... He's, um, he's only played, he's only featured in one game in the league all season. And it was like five minutes, like two months ago or something. He hasn't yeah. played like at all, and he came in and started against us. I thought I was completely out of out of the blue. Yeah, and, and he, yeah, he was not, awful. He was not very good, and uh, yeah, players like that who, uh, who found their way at Sunderland is just crazy. Um, uh, but, but yeah, just going back to the foul thing. I mean, just how how ridiculous is that? Do you know what I mean? Just giving away fouls where you don't need to give fouls. Oh, man, we actually need to remind ourselves that we've won the game. But there's so many things yeah. that we, we we could like learn on, you know, and I don't want it to be papering over the cracks where, you know, if we're under Parkinson and we 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 play awful but still win, you'd be like, well, you know, we did this well, we did this well. And we're like, mate, we, we didn't we didn't do that well, you know. And it showed when we played better opposition, we played better opposition and they exposed that. You know, there there are teams out there who will expose those uh, Lee Burgess awful clearances. They will, will get the ball from that and score a goal. They will get it from us giving the ball away in silly areas, giving silly fouls away. Just like Portsmouth, teams. Portsmouth did, really, isn't it? Yeah, like how Ledbetter gave gave the ball away, and Ledbetter was furious with himself, and it was a genuine mistake, and he never he's never, he hasn't done it since. But yeah, it, it just just thing, things like that. You can't give teams that opportunity to. You know, to get the ball and just uh, and, and go, really. You know, just I, 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 you know, um, how how poor was Shrewsbury, man? I mean, oh yeah, they, they didn't they didn't threat, threaten us, did they? At all? The strikers um, were absolutely atrocious. Yeah, the, the thing is with that though is like oh, I say we should we should be beating them by a few more goals. Look, if this if this is how we play today against one of the worst teams in the league. We, I say, script a one 0 win. I mean, we deserve to win, absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah. But you know, giving the ball away in those really bad areas, giving those silly fouls. If we're still those those bad habits, we're we still doing that against better teams. Uh, you know, we're doing that against Ipswich, who are who are quite a good team in the league. Yeah, I know we've beat them two one already this season. But if we do that at their place, you know, it might it might not end in a one 0 win for us. You know, it it could end very differently. So we've just got to keep that in mind. Yeah, another t- uh, another point I'd like to just touch on quickly is um, Max Power, uh, right back. I think he's 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 putting in a few good performances there. To be fair to him, I, I was shocked, and uh, 
I think he's definitely better right back than he is centre mid this season. Anyway, I just like to think, what have you, um, what have you made of him at right back? Well, solid really. Uh, apart from him just like falling over nothing in this. Do you remember that he tried <laughs> try to kick the ball for it and he literally fell over? He like fell over a ghost. I don't know what he fell over. It's so um, of him, isn't he? He's never bored. Yeah, even that. No, he, he's not. No, he's always got. He's always doing something, isn't he? Um, yeah. I, I think I think he's I think he's been solid, you know. Um, I mean, what Lee Johnson said in his press conference is, um, <clears throat> you know, he doesn't want to play 9 or right back as well. Just I think partly because of the throw-ins as well. Because if he goes, if he takes a throw-in, he could just easily dislocate his shoulder again, you know. Yeah. Um, so I think that's maybe why he kept power there when 9 came on. Yeah, uh, it hasn't midfield for power really hasn't worked out. I don't think um, it did. It did when he first came to the club. I thought, well, yeah, we've got a great player on our hands here. Um, but I, I think powers. He can take some good free kicks, good deliveries into the box, good crosses. And he's and he's uh, he, he's bulked himself up a little bit from the last two seasons. I think he's a he seems. I don't know whether it's just the Nike shirts that make it seem like that because they're a bit tight. <laughs> he, he's, 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 he seems he seems a lot bigger. Do you know what I mean? He seems a bit, he yeah. seems a bit more of a, a powerhouse. On the steroids. Um, yeah. Uh, so, so yeah, I, I think I think he 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 might he might be a lot better, and that might be his his position that he can b- bring out the best in him, hopefully, um, <clears throat> and also give him a chance as well. Because I found when he was the he's the captain and he's playing in centre mid, yeah, he's focused on what he's doing as well, and then he's just looking around behind him, everywhere everyone else is doing. But I guess mm. playing right back, the sort of the game's happening in front of you. So it might be concentrate on himself more, I guess. Instead of yeah, just... and I think right back is a position that you have to be solid in, and I don't think it's that difficult to, as a professional footballer, get wrong, because I think it's it's a fairly simple position. You you kind of, you sort you you know what you're doing, you know the there's the the defending element as well, and also the it's it's very attacking. It's a very attacking role as well, also being a defender. So. I think that that is possibly a position that suits him well. Um, yeah, look, I, I think I think we should keep him there. Obviously, McLaughlin's out now with his hernia operation, which I think he might be out for a few weeks. Flanagan is also has a hernia operation as well. Uh, the only other players who could play right back is probably Jordan Willis and Dion John Sanderson. Sanderson, yeah. Um, but I'm not a massive fan of Sanderson and. Uh, Willis, I'm sure Willis could do a job at right back. He's probably one of the fastest players in the team, and he's he's also a powerhouse yeah. as well. He's so e- either Willis, but then again, Power can't play centre back. So I'd rather keep Willis centre back and Power right back for now. Yeah, I think I think I think Power Power's doing well there, uh, and and this will hopefully give us the opportunity to see Luke O'Neill in, in central midfield, the position we've yeah. wanted to see him in since he first sort of came to the club on a have a little consistent mm. run in the team. You know, so now if Scowen or Winchester or Ledbetter, I mean, if it if it's a tactical if it's a tactical one, if we're playing against, I like to see against Ipswich that we're going to proper go for it and be fast. If yeah. we had Scowen, Winchester, and 9 in the middle, who were just energy everywhere. I mean, Scowen he was everywhere on the pitch today. Winchester, I'm sure he's he's quite. I haven't seen a lot of him. But I'm sure he's quite an energetic player as well. He, he you know, the, we we sign these players for a reason. The reason is to play. You know, we don't want to see them on the bench and 09 as well, mid midfield. So hopefully, it will give us that chance to see him in mid, midfield as well. All right. Apart from uh, today's game, there's a little few things that have happened this week. Obviously, uh, George Dobson, he's left on to go out on the oh, yeah. the end of the season. What do you, what do you make of that? And, what, what did, did he get on today? Uh, he he was on the bench for AFC Wimbledon. I don't know if he actually got on the pitch. Oh, I'm not. Oh, I haven't I'm, checked. I'm not. I'm not too sure. Um, but what, what what was my reaction to him? Um, well, yeah, look. Um, oh, hang on. Yeah, no, he he did. Yeah, George Dobson did did come on. Yeah, someone someone was oh, injured, so he he did he did come on. Yeah, it was it was one one in the end. Um, yeah, but um. It's a good move for Dobson, I think. Dobson, listen, I'd rather have 09 over Do- Dobson. I'd rather have Winchester over Dobson. I'd rather have Scown over Dobson. I'd rather have Ledbetter over Dobson. So Dobson falls right down. And for a professional footballer as well, you do want to be playing games. I think it's a good opportunity for him to sort of go out and 
and, and play his football at another club for for six months, see how he does. Um, you, you know, wish him all the best. But um, yeah, we haven't got like any like sort of. Well, we have got Papa John's games left, but I think this is where Lee Johnson wants to start taking it seriously because he's coming and he's seeing an opportunity to go. I've got Sunderland Football Club here, and I got a chance to take him to Wembley and win. Yeah. Like, so he's probably going right. Let, 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 you know, let's have a good go at this. And I just don't think Dobbs. I mean, Dobson wasn't even making the squad. So, yeah, I, I knew straight away Johnson. He he know. I mean, I'm sure Parkinson quite liked Dobson. Um, yeah, but probably probably because he kept giving the ball away because Parkinson liked that kind of football. Um, to him, to him, that's passing the ball, passing the ball well. Remember after the Rochdale game, what, what, oh. what was his quote or something like that? It was like we moved the ball well, passed it well. We passed, our passing was excellent tonight, or something like that. I, I, our passing was excellent. Uh, you know, um, yeah, just Dobson. I'm afraid he's just not good enough for Sunderland AFC at the moment. You know, he's still quite a young guy, 23 years old, I think. So, you know, uh, when he comes back, I think he's still got another year with the club. So when he comes back in the summer, um, yeah, give give him another shot. Hopefully, he's got some good football at Wimbledon. He's learnt a few things. Because you know you got to remember this guy, he, he he's never really played like academy football. He all, he always went out and he went to uh, what was it? He went to Holland, I think, to play for a club. Um, yes, yeah, spot at Rotterdam, and then he played at Walsall. And I just think there's something that he he needs to learn. Uh, 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 playing at playing, I don't know. He, he he's an interesting footballer. Maybe at Wimbledon he might find out his true position. Because people are saying he's a, you know, he's a defender, and we were playing him as a box-to-box midfielder. You know, he just wasn't fitting in. Um, and if he is a defender, I do not want his flappy legs defending our our goal. I'd he's rather have um, solid Willison off. right there. Sorry, I was saying I'm pretty sure he started off as a centre back. Uh, back yeah, younger, and yeah, he's he's a very defensive player. I feel like he could suit certain teams. Like if you want him to play defensive and literally just tackle people, then he's he's, he's quite decent at winning the ball back at least. But uh, yeah, his his passing is just it's just not great. But I think yeah. we, you know when we played against them last week, even though it was three 0 they were nowhere nowhere near the worst team we've played. I don't think um, they had a few decent little players, so it's probably not a bad team to go to. To be fair, yeah, exactly. You know, he's got quite a nice new stadium to play in. Can be back down in London, which is where he's from. I don't know why he'd want to be back down here, but um, but yeah. So yeah, it was, so give give him that little break from the northeast, really, because I'm I'm sure for someone of his age as well, and and you know where he where he's actually from, it's a big move for him. A lot of factors went in. You know, it's not just like playing FIFA, uh, where you can just transfer someone to another club, and and it doesn't matter about them. It's just how I they like play. That. But this is real life, you know, the human beings. Uh, same with Will Grigg as well. There's uh, so many debates on Will Grigg. Not even debates, it's just people ranting about Will Grigg. Will, Grigg, Will Grigg's, I mean, I was speaking to Connor Bromley about it and uh, after the uh, the video on the channel, My Sunderland 11, go check out. Great video, happened, by yeah. the way. It was, it was, it was good. Uh, but uh, Connor Bromley was telling me afterwards that just Will Grigg just doesn't seem... He's well. In, look, put it, put it, in, put it into short story. He doesn't want to be. He doesn't want to be at Sunderland. He, he he doesn't. He doesn't like it at Sunderland. He doesn't want to be at Sunderland. Um, never wanted. Never wanted to be at Sunderland. But w- Wigan, we're never going to turn down that three million rising to four million or whatever. They're, they're never going to turn that down for a team in the Championship. So he he had to come to us. Um, yeah, he just doesn't want. He just doesn't want to be at Sunderland. That 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 that's it. He, you know this far away from where he actually does live, two and a half hours away, I think. So he has to do that journey nearly all the time unless he's staying at a hotel. Or, But that's no way to live. You want to go home into your house. You know, you, you want to go home every night and sleep in your own bed. And if he's not, if he doesn't have that, then that affects everything. Lee Johnson was saying in, the, uh, in his press conference that he takes so many factors into playing on the pitch. It's not just how they played the day before. It's, you know, how they slept the night before. Hey, you know, like when they go to um you know away grounds and they stay at the hotel should should hotel, the players yeah. bring sh- should the players bring their own pillows should they bring their own mattress toppers L- tiny little things that they need to find out about these players to see how they how they do and how they cope you know um 
but uh, yes, yeah, so I ho- hopefully come coming back down to London for uh, Dobson does him well. So when he comes back to um, Sunderland back in the summer, maybe he might have matured a little bit, grown into a better player, and so he's ready for us to fight in the uh, Championship next season. Mm. I'll see another another rumor. Uh, I think Charlton got over the line. Jaden Stockley. He, um, oh, the strike. Yeah, he hasn't got a be- he hasn't got the best record ever, has he? And we, I, I sound and love to sign players who who aren't very good. But um, I was just thinking, did you have any opinion on him, or would you would you have been interested? Oh, to be fair, I mean, I don't really, I don't really know know who he is. I mean, do you know? Like, what do you know about him? Oh, I know he um he was at Exeter. I'm pretty. He scored quite a few goals for them, and then he made the big move to Preston. Uh, I think at the start of last season. So like when we were in the first season, we were in League One. He smashed it for Exeter in League Two, I believe. I think he scored about 23, 24 goals, maybe. Right. Oh, where are we at? He got the move to the Championship and then he never really got game time. I think he's on the bench quite a lot. Almost like an impact sub, almost. Yeah. But I've heard, I've heard good things about him. I think he would have been a decent... Don't get me wrong, I'm not, I'm not crying that he's not signed. But I think he'd, he'd be a better option than uh, Danny Graham and Will Grigg, I think. Well, I think I think me and you are better options than Danny Graham and Will Grigg at the moment, aren't we? Um, That's in yeah, there. I think if White was struggling, like how he was last season, of not literally not being able to score a goal, then maybe I would have been a little bit more upset with uh, like Stockley not signing. But I mean, White's up to 14 goals in all competitions this season, 11 goals in the league. Uh, you know, like the, he could finish on... However, Sorry. he could finish. He could finish on twenty goals. You know, whenever, they, someone, whenever <laughs> someone says it, I, I just, it's just I'm in disbelief about how many goals he scored. So am I. It's incredible, isn't next... it? But yeah. he he has the games where he literally goes a whole game without like, scoring a goal. Then the next game he'll score like two goals, and then he scored the hat trick against Wimbledon. I couldn't imagine back in the Jack Ross season where I'd ever see the day Charlie White scoring a hat trick. Like I I. It's just, I just don't, I just don't believe that, you know. It was insane. It was insane. And do you think if we were to get any players in, what position do you reckon? For me, it's got to be a left back. So well, what do you think? Another thing I said on the live as well um, was that whatever position that this player plays, I'm about to describe, where well, probably an attacking player, but one that's going to really get on the opposition's nerves, like really cause them like uh, trying to find the word, like terror terrorize them a little bit. You know, they can't they can't handle they they like player they can't handle. You know, he's just everywhere and he and he just that. gets on their nerves. Yeah, and he finds the little gaps and he yeah, he, he just doesn't stop. And I mean people say, oh you know Jack Diamonds Jack Diamonds. Look I'm not, not yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Um look, I we just need we need a player who's probably attacking midfielder or a winger, or maybe someone who can play both. Uh just who's gonna be a nuisance for the opposition. And that's the word, a nuisance uh, for, for the op- for, for the opposition. Um because I feel like too too many of our players uh, well, I mean, you can say, oh, McGeady gets on the, is a bit of a nuisance for the other team, but McGeady's like pushing 35 years old now. You know, then Maguire's like 32, like 33, oh, however old he is. And then Ledbit is 35. Uh, and you just think like, well, who actually have we got to bring on that are going to really, the player I always thought, unfortunately he was always injured, was Johnny Williams. And it, when, if you remember when he came on in the playoff, when he came on the playoff final, I mean, he was literally a machine. They got the ball and he just didn't stop. And we were like, what? You know, like we had this guy like last season and we're like, what is he doing? He was never like this. Uh, and just to get to get him full fitness. Um, of, of course, I mean, I'm in a player like him. I don't think we will sign Johnny Williams because we can't risk signing a player who's just going to be injured. Oh. Yeah, it's, Johnny Williams is a good player. Don't get me wrong. He's but a great player, yeah. He's a great player, a great guy as well. Um, not that I'm, like, I know him personally, but I'm just that's how he comes across. Uh, yeah, just just someone like that who's going to come on and just 
the other team just doesn't know how to handle them because too many of our players are too sort of pedestrian and too slow and lethargic. Similar as well, we need someone it's... different. Yeah, like for me, I'm not like Winchester. Don't, he's he's only played two games, so you can't really say much about him yet. But he just looks very similar to the central midfielders we've already got. To me, he hasn't stood out yet. Obviously, I'm going to give him more time, but. Yeah, it just looks like more of the same an average League One midfielder. Like he's not bad, but he's not brilliant. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and even Connor Bromley as well was saying uh, he just doesn't understand why we signed Winchester. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to get all negative about the signing we've just made, you know, because um, yeah, it's a player Lee Johnson knows and knows he can do well. Look, I'm sure he is a good player. Um, just. Give him a chance, really. we just got to give these players a chance. Scowan, you could say he didn't really get a chance or a decent run in the team. He only stuck one game last season. Mm. But he's had a solid run in the team this season. And look, the, how I describe him is a solid player at League One. Nothing higher. He, he wouldn't, he, I don't think Scowan would play higher than League One, uh, certainly for a good team, maybe for like a team at the sort of bottom of the championship. But no, no I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't and anyone can. Yeah, um, but yeah, I, I don't, I, I, I don't know. Um, but Scowen is, yeah, I, I, I'd say you know, just give these players a run, run in the team, see how they do, because we might as well just do that and see how they are before, before you know, we judge them. Um, but yeah, no, Winchester, we'll just see how he does, really. Again, I keep saying I'm not I'm not going to judge him yet. I'm going to see how he does and then judge him at the end of the season. I'll judge, I'll judge if we're in the championship or still in League One. Um, yeah. I, I don't know. But what do, you, what do we think for promotion, though? Like Playoffs, I reckon. I reckon we've got a decent chance of playoffs, I still think. But did you see yeah. someone ask the ask Danny thing at the end of the game? They they he asked they asked where do you think we'll finish, and he just went at best playoffs at the best playoffs, you know. I don't think he's wrong to be honest. At this yeah, moment. I think a lot of fans have become a little bit more realistic, haven't they, about where we're going to finish, and <laughs> you know where where we're going to finish. Um, I don't know. It, at playoffs at best, we, I, I can't see us squeezing in that top two because we're not good enough. That's the it's thing. Just, I remember I, watching the game earlier and just saying to myself, these players will never get promote, promoted because they're just not good enough. You know? Um, see, I, 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 don't, I don't know what you make. What, what, what do you make of it, though? What do you make of the players? Do you think they're good enough to go up? I think we've got a few, a few players, like, don't get me wrong. Our defenses for this league, you've got you've got quite a good a few good centre halves. I think Flanagan, he's a solid centre half. He's obviously injured. Um, I think other where we're lacking is our keeper. We, like you need a solid keeper for me. Our keepers yeah. are just really poor for me. Like since McLaughlin left, I mean he was brilliant. Don't get me wrong, he saved us so many times. I thought he was a brilliant keeper. Um, yeah, but yeah, it's just the quality in the final third as well. Like, we need another, I'll probably say, like you said earlier, like a winger or someone who can get past a man. Because for me, Diamonds, you know, Maguire, Maguire's been poor. That's Diamond, I think he's overrated, to be honest. He played well in what one or two games, he's not been consistent. He's still young, obviously, so. He's got potential, but honestly, I just don't think I don't think these players are good enough to be in the top two. No, no, exactly. Um, <sighs> at, at best playoffs, of course. Um, but yeah, I, I we're just not, we're not consistent. I reckon yeah, we'll yeah, I reckon we'll squeeze in there. Um, I mean, we could have gone sixth, sixth today if Charlton. I don't, know. I don't know if they lost or something like that. They equalised late on. Equalised late on, yeah. Um, but, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Um, we'll squeeze into the playoffs and, you know, you know, see how we do. Uh, but, but, yeah, playoffs and, uh, I mean, we still have to get through 
two games in the playoffs before getting to the final. Anyway, so whether we can get through that, get to the final and win at Wembley, <laughs> that would be that would be the true question. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll just see how it goes, and hopefully we can we can get promoted. But because uh, that's all we really want to do. But also another thing I said as well is I don't know if it be the end of the world. I know to a lot of people it would be the end of the world, end of the world if we didn't get promoted, because we might have, you know, get rid of a lot of players uh, that are aren't very good now, and literally Johnson actually build something. You know, we'll, we'll get rid of the high earners. I mean, a few high earners still at the club, but McGeady on like seventeen grand a week or something like that. We'll get we'll get rid of those people who are past it anyway. The, most of them after the team might retire anyway after leaving Sunderland. Um, but, uh, you know, it might give Lee Johnson that time to actually build something. Only players that to keep is really Willis, uh, human, like O'Neill. And I think the rest of them can just, just go really. May, maybe even keep Wyke because Wyke's doing all right, to be fair. Give him a little, like a backup striker or something like that. Um, but, but yeah, yeah, I, I don't know. I think, I'd, I'd love to go up this season, but you know, if we don't, then I feel I feel maybe Lee Johnson might be the person to build something. Yeah, I'd, I'd agree. And uh, but we'll just just finish off quickly. Ask for a prediction for um, I think it's Tuesday for playing Ipswich. Yeah, live on Sky. Brilliant on Sky again. We always play well on there. Yeah. What do you reckon? Predi- then? Prediction. Um, See, I never want to predict a loss. I'll predict draws all day long. I don't want to predict a loss, but I don't think we'll draw the game. I don't really think we'll win it either. But um, I'm going to have to predict a Sunderland win because, you know, we, we're, 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 we're very positive on this channel. And I'm going to say it's going to be 2-1 to Sunderland and it's going to be a frustrating 1-1 all game, last minute winner. Because we're going to have that moment that winner that's going to push us on and give us that momentum, push us on for the rest of the season. It's going to drop down and Winchester's going to volley into the top (laughs) corner and it's going to give us that momentum to, I can, I can just see, I can see it happening (laughs) in my head now. It's a corner comes in, it's knocked down, he's edge of the box, bang, top corner, give us that, that'll be the momentum to go on and win the league. Now I'm joking, like just push on for promotion and whatever that, automatic or playoffs, but yeah. That's it, really. <laughs> what about yeah, you? Yeah, well, I'd I was gonna say two on Sunderland as well. I think, but do you know what? I'll go. I'll go somewhere different. You know, switch up a bit. I like to be different. I'm gonna go one nil. Another one nil win to us. I'm gonna go Wyke, two and two. Fair enough. But anyway, I think we're just about um, done for today. But it's it's been brilliant to be back. You know, I've missed it. Been, been a while. Yeah. Thank, thanks everyone to watch for watching. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, everything. Send it to your grand. Send it to your mum. Whatever. Send it to your mate. And yeah, I think uh, we'll see. We'll see you next next time. We are going up. So we are going up. We are going up. We are going up. So we are going up.